Hey guys, I forgot to mention this very important little uh, tea. Um, this tea is a weight loss tea, basically. Um, it, it's very simple. Just get you some boiling water. I always, like I say, I only use purified water. Won't drink or touch that tap water. Won't let that go in my body. But anyway, get you a little pot of water. And all you need is a tablespoon, okay? Just about a tablespoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon has a lot of great qualities. It's good for the brain. It stabilizes blood sugar. It's antibacterial. It's got a lot of good qualities. A tablespoon of cinnamon. Any brand will do, actually. And a tablespoon of ginger. Ginger is an anti-inflammatory, good for nausea, you know, motion sickness, all kinds of stuff like that. So about a you know, tablespoon of uh, uh, ginger. So just throw that in there. I'm going to use this spoon for now. And you make you this nice little tea, especially in the winter. This is nice and warming. Uh, and um, uh, ginger also gives you energy. So uh, it's the both spices are, are there. They have a lot of good health benefits. Cinnamon helps with your cognitive memory. Uh, helps with so many different things. Um, uh, both of these uh, er, er, spices are good for oh things like uh, menstrual cramps, um, morning sickness, uh, colds and flus, you name it. it. They're both really good. And because they help stab uh, because the cinnamon in particular helps stabilize the blood sugar, you don't get those highs and lows and those cravings for sweets. So that's all you do. Just make this nice little uh, tea, as you can see here. Make a you know good sized little pot of it here, and drink that when you first get up in the morning. You have it cold or hot, however you want, but drink that when you first get up in the morning, and uh, you know before you eat. Like it, that helps to stabilize, so that what if you do eat something that spikes your blood sugar. This helps stabilize and this also helps kill your appetite a little. I find that when I drink this in the morning first, um, well first of all I'm not a breakfast person. I admit that freely. I haven't liked breakfast since I was in high school. So I'm not a breakfast person. But it does, um, it definitely kills my appetite <laughs> uh, when I do drink this and I get energy. You know when I'm not feeling well my mother uh, when I when I was growing up, my mom always used to mix cinnamon and ginger and water and give us a cup when we weren't feeling well or just feeling a little run down, and it always worked. And I still do this. Uh, I'm not sure what the two together, how it is that they really work, but they do, guys. And um, I remember my mom giving this to us, and you just felt better. And in the case of weight loss, because it stabilizes your blood sugar, you don't have that insulin high and low, that crash of your sugar, blood sugar. And that helps you a lot in controlling your appetite. So there you go, guys. It's a um, nice little type of tea. It has a really wonderful aroma to it, especially for the winter. It has that kind of spicy, warm, you know, uh, uh, scent to it. As you can see, mm, just the smell of the cinnamon and the ginger, I love together. No sugar, guys. No sugar. And for those of you who say, oh, well, I use artificial sweeteners, you know what? You, the only thing I'm going to say is, if you like poison, then eat any artificial sweetener. I don't care what they tell you it's made from. Go ahead and eat it. <laughs> but um, no sugar, no sweeteners. This is just to... To uh, help your body, it has many qualities. Look it up online. Look under, you know, just look up cinnamon, look up ginger. You'll see all the different um, health benefits that both of them have. So, guys, there it is. And you just give yourself a nice little cup of it right here. Mm. Nice cup in the morning. There you go, guys. So there is a nice little uh, 
uh, weight loss tea helps your, you know, helps your appetite, helps um, regulate your blood sugar. So give it a shot, guys. It really works, and uh, especially if you love the cinnamon and ginger as I do, it's it's a treat. And then once you've lost your weight, yeah, you can go ahead and you know, and and not even just then. If if maybe one day you just feel like having it a little sweetened, it's no big deal. Go ahead and put a little bit just to give it a touch of sweetness. Don't go making it taste like a Coca-Cola or something. Just a touch of sweet. But try to go without it. And uh, because, you know, every time you ingest sugar, it just makes your blood sugar go up and down. But, uh, yeah, you can, you know, once you've lost your weight, yeah, have it as a nice cup of tea with a little sugar in it. It's good. And... Um, if you do this before, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you'll see how it uh, kills your appetite. It stabilizes your, your, your blood sugar to where you don't get those, you know, hunger crashes. You know, you go up, you go down, you're starved, then you eat, then you're hungry again. And it really does work, guys. So give it a shot. Cheers to you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.